Morning YouTube. Well, since uh, we were last here, I finished up the uh, the cabinets. I haven't got them installed yet because uh, you may remember that uh, because of the difference in the height of the cabinet and the height of the window, I I made this basically area to put herbs and so on. Um, I built a stud wall just to bring it out a little bit and that'll uh, we'll get that in but before I do that before I actually anchor this down put the stove in uh, I want to do something about these windows my boss doesn't have tinted windows so I want to put tinting on them um, it's easier to do it now than me reaching across the counter and trying to do all this so uh, we're going to do that today, and I've got a, um, on the bathroom, we're going to do a, uh, a different, I'm going to frost the windows back there, and I'll show you how to do that too. So, uh, let me get set up, and then we'll, uh, get the tinting on the, start putting the tinting on the windows. All right, be right back. Boom. Yeah. Okay, so... We're going to start back here with the, uh, the windows in the bathroom area. Um, most people, you know, you don't want a clear window in your bathroom. You want something frosted. So what we're going to do is turn this one and this one into something like that. Okay. Uh, really easy to do. I've got this spray can of, they call it frosted glass. That's basically what it does couple of coats I masked off the metal around it and we will uh, I'll show you how I put it on and you'll be amazed um, this stuff you're really gonna want to open up a door or win another window um, because it will get a bit uh, strong so all right so let's start on this back window here it's just nice, easy, nice sweeping sw strokes. It takes a couple of coats to do a real nice job. But you can see already it's frosting up some. So I'll do the other window and they like said come back. We put a couple of coats on. I usually put about three on. And uh, it should give us a nice, nice frost. It'll glaze up as it goes. All right, so let me get this one. Try to overlap each stroke so that there's no spots that are missed. And that's the other reason to do a couple of coats. There you go. You see how it's going back here. Let me uh, put a couple more coats on and I'll show you the result. Okay. Um, I'm a little bummed out as I wanted to uh, take it, make it so my windows open from the bottom, not from the top. Um, like uh, Jake Van Slot's uh, got. His bus is set up different than mine in that my these are, I'll show you when I get them down, but this actually latches into the other track and there's just no possible way to, to flip them. So that's how it would have been nice. That's the way it goes. All right, so my windows are held in. These little fancy washers with a screw. There's one there. I already took the one out above and there's a little plate that goes went on the bottom. Um, so I just got to take those out. And because I already had these windows out before, when I was painting, I've already taken all the, the caulking and whatnot off. So, so when I put it back in, we'll re-caulk around the edges. I've got that all cleaned up. And um, 
So, okay. One of the important things about doing a tent job is to make sure the window is nice and clean. Tent's going to go on the inside, um, but I've got running my hand across, I can feel all kinds of uh, grit and nastiness. So to me, for me, it's a multi-step process. Get the big chunk off. And give it a good clean with a good window cleaner. You see, that's on the inside. So before I put this back, I will definitely do the outside. So that's step one. Then I like to take a razor blade and just run it across, around, across the whole thing. If there's any big chunks, uh, you know, left over from flies or whatever, this will help loosen that all up. It'll cut off, it'll get the big chunks off. You know, you don't know what was stuck to this window over the years. Okay, so I'll just wipe that off a little bit. That gets a little bit more off. Then, Take some uh, steel wool. You get the four aught. You can look this up on uh, YouTube. There's all kinds of videos on how to super clean uh, your windshield. This stuff works great. The four aught is super fine. Uh, you get coarser, it might scratch your glass. This stuff does not scratch the glass. What it does, is polish it. So this is going to get all the little stuff off that the uh, razor blade didn't take or didn't get off. And you just do a circular motion and give it a nice scrub. Right? And they said that's just going to take off that last little bit of grit. Going to polish it nice and clean. Okay, I'll get the bottom one, and then we'll get to doing the, uh, putting the uh, film on. more with the cleaner. Pick up all that fine grit that we just polished off. And you see, again, not much, just a little bit. Now this is nice and clean. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with a piece bigger than I need. And bought was they said bigger than I need it's much longer than the window is tall so I bought way more than I really need because mistakes happen and I'm sure that I will be able to find somebody who would like to have some for their car so
Okay, as you can see, definitely bigger than what I need. That's okay. If I can line up a uh, an edge here. A little bit of tape just to keep that right there where I wanted it to start with. And I can take a nice sharp razor knife, get right down here into the edge, and trim this to size. Okay, so I got this cut the size, put the tape aside. Now the film has got two sides. It's got tint and it's got That worked. So, in desperation, I tried putting a piece of tape on the on the clear backing, and that gave me a spot. Actually, it was a better hole than uh, me trying to do it with my fingers. So, as you see, there's a clear. This is not so much an adhesive as it's a sticky side. Now you want to be able to make sure you get all the bubbles out. If I just put it on like this, then it's going to uh, I may not get her down flat, but I'll tell you, you can buy some expensive stuff. I put on just a good coat of the window cleaner. Peel this off along one edge to get that lined up. And what the window cleaner does is give you a little bit of play to slide it along. So what I do is work it a little bit at a time. It's a little off on the bottom, a little high on the top over here. so much that I'm really going to worry about it. So you take a little squeegee and you can work the, uh, the bubbles out. Work from the center out. It's going to push a lot of that window cleaner right out the edge. That's why it's in there.
pillow this back up a little bit because I've got some big fold right there. A little too big a bubble to work out. So work it this way. Work from the center out. And there you go. So, tint on one side, nothing on the other. And I'll just throw out the window here just to, to get an idea. I'm not going to mount it yet. Okay, so I'll give you an idea of the tint is not tint. Not a lot of difference. Um, I just want it to be, to cut the, the bright sun down somewhat. And uh, I don't want it, I could have got for a higher tint. Uh, this one was 30%, I think. So it's going to cut out a large portion of the bright sun, but I can still see out. Um, but let me take you to the back, and I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, the when the uh, frosting on the glass is dried. So let's go back there. I wanted to give you a shot from the outside to get an idea, you know, how much it's uh, you can see from uh, what it's like just looking inside through the undone windows, and then through the dirty on the outside, but. You can see, again, it does make you a little bit of privacy. Uh, once I get them all done, it'll be less light inside during the day. So, all right, there we go. That's why you do that. Okay, so this is what it looks like once I put uh, three coats on and lots of light coming in, um, which is what I wanted. In the bathroom, it's nice to have, you know, have it a little bit brighter than uh, the rest of it, but a lot of you know privacy and very simple. So I've got to go. I'll start tinting all the rest of the windows, and I'll see you next time, YouTube. Oh, yeah! Before I go, um, if anybody has any questions about what I've been doing, uh, products, tools. Am I crazy? I asked that one right now, yes. Uh, <coughs> anyway, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll do a question and answer video uh, after I get a few. So, again, see you next time. Don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, want to help me out a little bit, or you just want one of these really cool stickers, you can click on the donate button on the main page, and for every $5 donation, I'll send you two of these little beauties. Make great rust bandages, uh, suitable for small buses or big buses.